Hello you guys, um, welcome to today's video. Today's second video, well actually it'll be Sunday by the time this video is, um, by the time I finish editing it, um, you know, I'm processing it through my editing software, then process, processing it through YouTube, upload, uploading it to YouTube, and then processing it to YouTube also. Um, no, but yeah, if you're wondering what this video um, is going to be about, you probably won't because, like, it's going to be in the title. But I have my receipts right here to prove everything that went down in the transaction. I just have, like, a few of my favorite lipsticks of all time, as well as, like, a couple of my, um, like, one of my, my all-time favorite highlighter, actually, ever, um... And like my favorite um mini my favorite benefit palette of all time. So yeah, just like I just wanted to give off just give some credit. Got a couple fifties up there, a real hard Lord and Berry, Cover Girl, and a Maybelline. And yeah. But no, just wanna have a little uh I'm trying to up my YouTube anti game or whatever and um yeah, I just uh, happened to get this from Wish today. I think it was like six ninety nine or seven ninety nine, and it's actually sterling silver, and it like looks super thin and stuff, but it's so sturdy, like it doesn't move at all. Like it's actually sterling silver and stuff, and it says, "Love you." And um, yeah, the uh, the person that holds the key to my heart, actually, like in the other piece of this necklace, it came with uh, two, and it says "I," and then when you put the key in it, in it, and it says "I love you" or whatever, you have, you have to be together to do that, and um. He knows who he is, so I'm not going to say who it is, but, um, so, uh, I, I sent Joe on a Walgreens haul for me, and, um, okay, really, though, this is, the, this is the, honestly, like, the last time, I'm not going to promise, but I mean, it's going to be one of the last times, if not the very last time, that I'm going to smoke my channel, just because of, like, personal reasons and because I have a, a younger audience, the whole thing. Oh, by the way, can we, let's address, like, the crazy, like, roots and... But also how, like, since my hair's parted this way, like, you can tell, like, I'm not lying when I say I'm not a brassy bitch and my hair just turned yellow and brassy because of my makeup. Yeah, and I'm not lying. But no, um, I just, this is the method to my madness whenever I'm doing, doing, doing my makeup and stuff and testing stuff out. But no, this is going to be a Walgreens haul. I sent Joe, like, he surprised me with a couple things. And, um, just because, one was kind of an accident or whatever, but, um, we will go to, we will, we will momentarily go down that list. I love you guys. Okay, um, for once I actually came prepared, um, because I always get super overheated, even, even though my new LED ring light gives off literally, genuinely, and actually no heat whatsoever. But I'm so glad I actually thought to bring my, um, my beverage into the glam room, which is my bathroom, but what are you gonna do? I'm just working with what I got. But okay, yeah. I actually don't know exactly what I'm going to, going to title this yet. Um, maybe like, um, fiancé slash boyfriend you know, um, surprises me with, like, um, a Walgreens haul, kind of, because it's like, okay, to make a long story short, before I start to rant and ramble, which I'm sure I already have begun to do, t begun to do so, um, I told Joe in no particular order, and of no per particular importance, uh, that I needed, needed a mascara, I wanted to try, um, L'Oreal Infallible, or, like, any kind of L'Oreal Voluminous ones, because I've, I've heard about those, and I've only tried, um, one of them, I believe, and it was years and years ago, so I just wanted to try, I love to try new products on my channel. So, this is the last pub, I swear. Okay, so, um, I was like, I need a mascara for sure, because my benefit, Bad Girl Bang, Bad Girl Bang, has had it. Yes, I love it when, you, when it, you just know that it's gonna focus, and you don't have to, like, it's not a struggle, the whole thing. Because the struggle is real. When you try to up that YouTube game, <laughs> it does. But I'm in love with this necklace, and but enough about me. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That was so awesome. Um, I hope you guys liked my ASMR video, um, where I washed, like, a full face of makeup off with my last four makeup removing pads or whatever. But, yeah, um, I guess, like, okay, I'm just gonna tell the story first. So, I told Joe, in no particular order, that I needed mascara a new concealer, and, um, a setting spray and makeup wipes, for sure, because I was out of all of those things. So, okay, we got makeup wipes right here, I'll just go down the list in no, no particular order, whatever, just gonna, and then I'll shop the brands and the prices, um, momentarily, maybe after a jump cut or two, I don't know. You guys can't beat the judge of that, because you ain't the creator up in here. I'm not trying to shade you, I don't know what that was, and now I'm uncomfortable, so I'm gonna name some products. <laughs> but I'm also super excited, though, because I've never ever in my entire, like, a YouTube career, journey, life, whatever you want to call it, terminology is beside the point. Um, I'm feeling really animated, rejuvenated, and um, super, super, uh, I'm, I'm in a great mood, is what I'm trying to say. And I hope that you guys are here for that kind of thing, and you love unboxings and trying new. Yes, it, they were, uh, they're from Walgreens, as you can see. All these products, all the products, um, 
I've mentioned the ones I have yet to. Actually, I, have, I don't think I've showed any of the products yet. That's right, okay. And then I said, or whatever, yeah. Okay, so, um, I, so I told Joe that I for sure needed a mascara, a new concealer, and a setting spray and makeup wipes for sure. You know what I mean? Okay, so... We're just going to now go down the list and see, like, um, how he did, you know what I mean? And if he surprised me with anything that I'm super excited about. Alright, um, so the most expensive thing, because, like, they didn't have, um, the one or whatever, but he just, well, he, he saw this one and just said that, like, I just cannot wait to read, like, what this does or whatever, like, because I'm going to do a full face with, like, pretty much a full face of all new products, and we'll get to that momentarily, and we'll just, you guys will see the products that I didn't get that are new that we'll use the, along the way, but I haven't done a full face live for you guys in forever, and this could be, like, a boyfriend makeup haul, full face, I don't know, Walgreens haul, I don't know yet, that's not your choice, it's mine, I'm the creator, and that's not being shady, that's just the truth, I tell it like it is sometimes, and that's just how it be, okay, so this L'Oreal Paris, um, 570 Black Noir Double Extend Beauty Tubes Mascara, Lash Extension Effect Mascara, Beauty Inside Winter, um, CEW, um, one, it's, okay, um, Tubes Extend Lashes, um, plus 80%, like, it's two benefits. Long-wearing, smudge-proof, easy-removal mascara effect ex extension. Um, yeah. And it's just, like, it, it comes in a beautiful, beautiful packaging. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And I was like, okay, it's got a one step, okay? And that's, one step is to nourish and protect, as you can see, with no effort there whatsoever. It's just right in the frame. Okay. And just, it just, it just adjusts automatically. Is this 4K? Like, what's 4K? I don't know what that is. Just, I'm curious, just thought about that. And then, the, the second step is the tubes that extend your lashes, 80 plus percent, right there. So, and then see how it's double-sided? Yes, I cannot wait to unbox this or whatever, but I, before we do full face and stuff, just because it's an unboxing and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And it's like, I'm going to, yeah, we're going to get there. Okay, so that was the most expensive product, and it was $13.49. Um, for $6.99... Uh, it's okay because, like, I actually am completely out, and it's funny because I checked today, I'm completely out of my, um, Maybelline New York, um, 112 Natural Ivory. I'm totally out completely. I do have a backup or whatever, it's not necessarily my favorite, you know what I mean? So, uh, it's this CoverGirl matte, um, uh, True Blend matte made. Yep. She's alright. She's, she's like, pff, my fourth favorite foundation I've ever used, probably. Um, which is, that's, that's not too bad. I've used, like, a good 12, 15 foundations, but no, um... This, is in, this, this was under the new section, as well as um, this was, this uh, mascara. So, uh, this was $6.99, and I've never in my entire life tried um, a foundation like this before. And it, Joe is um, a very, very masculine man that knows nothing about makeup, you know what I mean? And this does look a lot like concealer, and the packaging and everything in his defense. It's smaller than, you know, the, your typical foundation. It's not glass, you know. It's, so, yeah, when I saw it, I was like, it's not a big deal. Plus, like, I showed him and stuff, and it was, he, he felt so bad, and I was like, oh my god, like, really? Like, you, you surprised me with all this, like, sweet, beautiful makeup? But, like, no, it's, it's not like that. No. Um, so I was like, there's no need to feel bad. Plus, like, I needed foundation. He was like, oh, and I was like, oh my god, he's so sweet. If you're wondering. I'm sure you were. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Um, and he's so sweet or whatever because I told him, like, anything with, like, natural ivory, like, um, you know, creamy ivory, like, I just ivory, like, light ivory, like, medium ivory, whatever. Any Like, anything with ivory, like, works for my works for my skin tone and my complexion. And plus, I use a lot of bronzer and contour and, um, and blush. So, what are you going to do? Um, so pretty much, yeah. Okay. So I'm surprised that I've never once in tried... This was also in the new section or whatever. And so that's two uh, L'Oreal products. And then two, um, you're gonna, but you're about to find out products that two products that I've never tried on my channel before. Um, actually, yeah, I've never used any L'Oreal makeup before, nor have I used any, um, and yeah, of the other. I almost pulled it, yeah. So I'm super excited. Like, so these are, and these were all under the new section. Um, and I even got a surprise, but I'm not gonna spoil it. Okay, so this is L'Oreal Paris. 20, this was $6.99, mind you. L'Oreal Paris up to 24 hour wear, wear foundation, two of one classic ivory. You know, so. Totally, as you can see, mesh and skin tone, I don't want to spoil it, you know what I mean, like, it's a beautiful, beautiful ivory, and it always just, because I have, like, natural, um, reds that come out, as you can see, in discoloration under my eyes, and it just, like, I just came not, I've never, I've never used a foundation like this before, because, like, I've, I've only worn matte for the past, like, six or seven months, before that, like, I used to wear powder, um, powder uh, foundation and powder concealer, now I'm working, I wear gel concealer and, um, gel, you know, matte foundations or whatever, but, up until now, so listen to this shiz, um, it's called um, L'Oreal Paris um, Up to 24 Hour Foundation 2201 Classic Ivory Infallible Pro Glow. 
as you guys can see. Yes, yes. And on the back, okay, get this. Lasting Glow Foundation, never dull, never greasy, which I love that because I have combination skin. When I say combination, I probably mean um, like 60% uh, oily, 40% 40, 40 dry, if I'm just being honest. So it's hard to find a, um, a makeup that's not a matte that suits my skin, which is what I should have made that disclaimer, that disclaimer beforehand, but what are you going to do? Your girl's a silly bitch, I swear. Like it's, it's so hot, but like the, the um, it's actually like the, the lighting is giving off no like heat whatsoever. But oh my. Yeah, so, um, just wait till you get to the rest. I haven't even finished, like, the receipt. Like, I was like, I cannot believe he spent that much money on me. I, just, I felt so bad, but, like, he he loves to make me happy, and it made me happy and stuff, and I may have spent some of my birthday money on this or whatever, but that's, you know, what's... Is it much... I'm, like, trying to, like, play tit for tat here. Well, I don't know what I'm doing here, girls and boys. But, um, I don't feel like editing this video a whole bunch, so there might be maybe one more jump cut. We'll see. Depends on if I... Depending on if I F up a look or not. Okay, so, okay, Lasting Glow, by the way, this is L'Oreal Paris, um, Infallible, Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 201 Classic Ivory. So my boy knew what I, knew what I needed. Uh, Lasting Glow Foundation, never dull, never greasy, A+. plus. Like I said, 60% oily skin here, combo skin. Uh, it says the finish um, is in Radiant. Like, there's Demi Matte, and then Natural, and then Radiant. Right here, it says Radiant, and the Radiant is filled in. Okay. And then on the second row, it says coverage, low, medium to high. Um, and I always wear medium coverage, so I was really, really pleased to see that it did, sh it did say that the coverage was medium. You know what I mean? I was, I was pleased to see that. So, um, cause like, I, I, as you can see, it's like, other than discoloration and stuff, like, I don't have breakouts and stuff, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't really get acne. I'll get a pimple or two, three pimples maybe a month here and there. And it's just like, um, I'm just, I'm very, very careful. I, just, I have a very good skincare regimen, so whatever. You go girls, so I guess is what I'm trying to say. But, um, it's very hydrating, um, but it's for normal to dry skin. Oh, I didn't even see that at the bottom. See, okay. Um... It's uh, octanoxate or octanoxa, octano no, it's probably octanoxate um, sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 15. Cool. So, so now I have SPF 40 because I used my Kula um, off camera. It's the only that's the only stuff I did off camera this time, you guys. And then uh, I used my Kula. It's um, also, it's SPF 40. It's or organic. They're a new brand. And they said as soon as they can um, afford to um, have like brand ambassadors <coughs> and affiliate codes and stuff like that, they're gonna hit your girl Steven up. So I'm super excited about that. Okay. So then texture. Air light, and it's the very first one the, out, of, out of the finished categories or whatever on the back. It says texture, air light, and then there's medium and rich, and it's the first one, air light. I like the feeding, I like the I like the sound of that. I like how it's the coverage is medium, it's air light, but it's also a 24 hour wear with the, with a radiant finish. Like I've just I've never tried it before, and I'm also going to do a wear test, probably not in this video or whatever, because we're already at the 10 and a half minute marker, and I've already done a couple jump cuts, but. It's not that um, I don't I don't I mind doing it in one video and that I, that I, I, don't, I don't love being a creator creator and being here for you guys. It's just that honestly, um, I can I can only I can only film and edit a video that's about thirty two minutes long tops, uh, and you can still keep it in four eighty p. And you know what I mean. I just want to keep it to the best the best possible ability ability as I can when it comes to the quality wise. Um, since my since my channel is going so well, and it's, I feel like I just owe it to my subscribers and my new ones, and, and especially the OGs that have been here since I was Steesburger. And if you know if you if you um have been here that long, what was my old outro? Steesburger loves his whom and his. What? I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here, especially if you made it this far. I, 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 I don't know. But I hope I think I thanked you guys for being here. If I haven't, I'm such a bad hostess slash host. I'm gender non-conforming. Okay, so now I'm so excited because like I was uh, like I, I mean I did say I, I, okay yeah, yeah. I was just so excited because I never tried this brand before ever. By the way, these the two cleansing pads are by Pons brand P O N D apostrophe S formulated by the Pons Institute and Original Fresh. They come with 28. Um, Okay, uh, remove, remove all makeup, leave skin soft and smooth with cold cream technology and vitamin E. These, I've heard of them. They're, um, he said they were the least expensive ones. They're 28 a pack, and um, those were $5.99 a piece. As you can see, I don't know if I showed the receipts for the first first ones or whatever, but there we go. I shit myself in the nose. Classy bitch. Okay, um, so get those out of the way. And then... And it's like, I've seen Tati use this, I've seen Jeffree Star use it, I've seen, like, Nikki Tutorials use it, I've seen, like, all the greats use it. I really have. Patrick Star, the greats, and I and I love all of them. But my first NYX, which I, did, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know when they started selling NYX cosmetics at, at like, like, drugstores. Like, I, it's, it's beyond me. Like, I didn't, I was like, I was, I was shooketh to the coreth. And that's not an understatement. That's enough. 
Okay, but no, like, I mean, honestly, like, I'm so humbled and shocked, and I was, like, so grateful that, like, Joe knows how much I love NYX Cosmetics, and I've talked about, like, wanting to try NYX Cosmetics for so long, but, um, she was only 636 and on sale, but also under the new category, so, I mean, pff, whatever, like I, like I said, these are all new products, and then, um, so yeah, that, so I got everything that I asked for, even though I did ask for a concealer, even though I still have, I still have concealers, last me until next payday, which is when we will get, um, me a new concealer, most likely, um, most, most likely a NYX, because that, now that I know that NYX is over the counter, I'm really, really looking into trying everything. I'm super, sure, super, I'm super stoked about the the, the L'Oreal lengthening lash. It's like I might, I might never. You, um, your girl Steven might never have to wear bosses again on this channel. But okay, um, she was a six thirty six on sale. Makeup setting spray. I know that's not the best. Um, like it's rubbing off a little bit and stuff. See the very one at the top. Yep. Okay. Yeah, six thirty six on sale, so that's cool. Um, shook it by the price, but the small. I mean, it is kind of small, but I, I do want to just give it a. Well, no, I'm gonna. I'll do fragrance tests test and stuff along the way. Um, after I finish everything, okay. Um, and then, okay, this isn't. Um, I was so I was so shocked by this too. It was under the new category. Um, NYX glitter gloss liquid lipstick, oil spill. And I mean that's just the shade name or whatever, but it just says O L S P L. And it was also on sale for six seventy five. So I guess maybe it's the one right there um, next to the. Uh, it's this one. Yep. And wait, wait until you guys see the color because I'm shocked. Okay. This, and by the way, you guys, the total was um, forty three dollars. Oh wait, forty six dollars and sixty one cents. Forty six dollars and sixty one cents. I felt so bad and like, Joe was like, well, I mean, I, did, I didn't. I wasn't really checking the prices. I was like. Ugh. All right. Well, you know, like I said, um, I'm so grateful, and, I'm, and, and it means the world to me. And he surprised surprised me with some amazing stuff, and I, I cannot wait to try this foundation for you guys. And then um, I'm just gonna go down the list, and I'm gonna test it all out as I go. Um, and then we'll go ahead and just start with one of my with my new foundation. We'll start beating that face. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It's NYX Professional Makeup um, Glitter Goals Liquid Lipstick. That's just what the front looks like, you guys. I mean, it's like I've. Please, that's like four different lipsticks that I, liquid lipsticks that I have combined, you know what I mean? And I'm just, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm not gentle when it comes to opening up packaging, I'm just not, I'm just not. I just want to get that sucker out of there. Okay, I'll read some of the stuff on the side, though. Make the switch. This map, okay. Oh my god, look at that beautiful packaging. My first, my first, oh my god, look at the color. I don't even know if the lighting does that justice. Honestly, no, it does. That's exactly how it looks in person. I love you, girl. Okay, um... I gotta read some of this really quickly. Okay, um, yeah. Uh, GGL S09 oil spill. And he was just like, Joe, Joe was like, whenever I saw that, I was like, I just knew that was you. And I was like, oh, he's right. Um, so it's a, it's a shade like I've never seen in one lipstick. The packaging is beautiful, but let me go ahead and read this, though. Make the switch. This matte liquid lipstick glides on metallic and shifts to to dazzling glitter finish, spark sparking the transformation is as simple as smacking your lips together. Um, okay, uh, yeah, and the shade, once again, is oil spill, and let's just see what the, um, I just want to look at the packaging a little bit more and see what it says on the actual packaging. It's very, very hard to see in this light, because I, I can barely even see myself in the monitor. Um, it, says, it just says glitter goals liquid lipstick, and very, very, it's just exactly what it said on the packaging. So that's cool. Ooh, I'm so tempted to open her up, but you can barely see the glittery tones, but they're there. Okay. Okay. Joe just texted me that he's here. I'm going to go let him in, and he's going to be very quiet, like he's doing ASMR until I get done filming. I'm just kidding, but I'll be right back. I love you. But you know, honestly, the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking, like, I'm just going to, like, oh, unbox this officially, like, the mascara itself. Set her to the side. Uh, because everything else is already unboxed. Like, I mean, this, uh, the, the L'Oreal Paris foundation came how it is. Um, the lipstick was just in a little packaging, you know what I mean? I'll put all the new products over here. I don't want to lose them. But we're going to keep the foundation right here and the settings right there, too. So, yeah, that, um, we're just going to go ahead and, I was like, I'm going to do a fragrance test and stuff, but I'll just do that as we go. Just to simplify everything and make things easier for everyone involved. I don't want to get, um, I don't think it'll matter to get necklace, because I, I doubt this with necklace, this part of the necklace, I know for a fact it's like some kind of like, it's like, it's a like good bougie plastic, but it's some kind of plastic, you know what I mean? So, I don't think it matters if I get makeup on this part of the necklace, if you catch my drift. Okay, we're going to use my dusty, 
crusty busted ass. <laughs> it's not really that crusty. I just haven't washed it in a good solid two and a half weeks. Just being honest. But it smells like nothing but bronzer and um, really good um, concealers and foundations and stuff. But no, it's my um, it's my go-to foundation brush for its eco tools. Do I need do I need a new one? Is it fraying off a little bit on the end? Yes. But I have some nice bougie brushes that you guys will see momentarily. So please don't drag me. Like I said, I used um, tinted moisturizing primers. So I'm gonna my, my skin is gonna be SPF. Uh, 45, um, broad spectrum protected as opposed to just, um, 15 or just, uh, no, this one has 15, yeah, and the other one has 30, so 45, I'm not that silly. I'm just gonna, I, like, I'm not a huge foundation queen, so, and yes, I, I do con concealer second, some people don't, but my, I think most people do, actually. So, okay, I'm gonna do a little fragrance test first and foremost, just because I'm a fanatic about that kind of thing. I've never in my life used a foundation like this, unless, unless it came from the Dollar Tree. No shade. Like, I just, it looks like it's, a, I understand why Joe thought it was a concealer. You know what I mean? Like, really. Okay. Mmm, it's almost very clean, but it also just has that makeup, like, classic, um, your mom's or your grandmother's makeup in, like, the 90s or, like, the late 80s to, like, mid-90s, maybe even late 90s, like, smell, you know? Okay. So we're just going to do, we're going to start off really small because I have no idea what, what it's going to do to my skin. And I, I, not that I have sensitive skin or I'm suggesting an allergic reaction or anything of that nature because I'm not whatsoever. But I just like, I started off about this much and I'm just going to, um, because I'm, I'm, I'm a firm believer that if you stamp it, mm, you can't cramp it. Your style. No, that was a bad pun, joke, whatever I was trying to pull off there, okay? Just stamp a little bit right there. That was more than I, more than I anticipated. Okay, wait, this stuff is very, very jelly. And then we will just stamp, pramp, spramp, and get that look going, you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I would drop my brand new foundation. Luckily, like, only a tiny little bit came out, and there's only one cat hair on it. So that's cool. I'm just going to add that little bit that came out to the brush. Sorry, girl, I'm going to put the lid back on you because um, your owner, your new owner, is a really, really messy and sloppy bitch. Um, <clears throat> and I was actually reaching for this... Um, because, like, for for the mini palette, I swear to God, this mini breaker palette um, is, like, the mirror, the, the compact mirror is huge. It really is. So, okay. Let's do this. Shiz. I'm so sorry for this creaky freaking floorboard, I swear. We're currently, like, um, looking for a new house as we speak. Spoiler alert, but we are. Okay, let's just see here. Oh, my God. Okay. A little goes a long way with this stuff. It might be a hair too pale for me, but then who who am I trying to kid? You know what I mean. And plus, we haven't even blended it completely. But this is a this is a fantastic um a foundation brush. Um, I've used it for my foundation for a good solid two or three months. I've about as long as I've had it, and it's really good. I like it. Um, it's got, like, I have long, I have huge, long, um, masculine hands, so yeah, <laughs> it works really well if you're someone like me that's an androgynous individual, or just someone with large hands. Okay, I'm a fanatic about those ears, and I, I am already, I'm, I can already say that, like, this product, um, is turning my hair not nearly as orange as the other foundations, like at the roots, but then again, I could be mistaken, we're gonna, I'm not even halfway done blending. <laughs> Okay, more like buffing and stamping it out, but I think you guys know what I mean. Okay, let's push some of that hair back. I love you, Joe. Oh, he must have his headphones in. I told him I'd only, only be like 20 more minutes tops or whatever, and he just was like, I'll put my headphones in, babe, and I'll play a video game, and we can visit until I have to go to bed for work in the morning. He works seven days a week, and it's like, I would not be able to, like, <laughs> I would not be afforded, I would literally, like, actually genuinely not be afforded the luxury to, to be able to shoot these kind of videos and make these kind of videos and get these kinds of things, and just, uh, him spent $50 on me just, uh, just because I needed the makeup for my channel, and he knows that I do, and I work so hard at it, and he works so hard outside, you know what I mean, and he's, um, he's so sweet, and, um, he just, he just texted me that he heard me, he didn't want to interrupt my video, I love you, I'm coming home, but, <laughs> I guess maybe his ears were burning, for, for maybe from the headphones, but also because I was talking about him. Is that a southern expression? Like when someone's talking about you that your ears are burning, or is that just like an old wives' tale? What's the origin of that? I'm genuinely curious. Okay, first impressions are this is definitely something I'm not used to. I'm not mad at it, obviously, just yet, because that would be 
um, a very, very biased and judgmental and pretentious, um, way to approach your, uh, you know, a new foundation you're, you're, you're trying. Um, whenever you're, you know, um, you're known for your honest and unbiased reviews, the most honest and unbiased reviews on YouTube of all time ever. <laughs> I think I actually, like, titled one of my videos, um, like, uh, the most honest reaction to your most honest review ever and stuff, like, just because I don't beat around the bush, like, there's been so many times that I wanted to love a product so much that I was just like, it's not good. Okay, yeah, I like how this actually lightens up the roots and stuff from, like, the makeup I couldn't get out and stuff, but, um, with the other makeup pads, could have washed my face with them and stuff, but, like, I was I already did primer, and, okay, this is very jelly. I'm just used to a matte, you know what I mean? A matte, a good matte that you have to buff out and, all, and then a good solid 30 seconds and it's set. Like, that's okay. Like, I mean, it's definitely making my eyes pop, and those bags are, like, whoa, hang on a second, I just noticed that. That's cool. Like, they're still there. I'm still gonna use a little bit of my neutralizing concealer palette, obviously. Okay, um, it's, I think it's starting to set, but I mean, it is dewy. It's very, it's very, very dewy. Do you guys see what I mean? But that's, I guess that's a good thing whenever you have, um, 40% dry skin and combo skin, like, <clears throat> for someone like me that does. Excuse me. Does anybody else actually clean their brushes, like, at least, like, once to twice a month, like, twice on a good month, um, with, like, Dawn, how they're supposed to, like, Dawn in hot water? Because I actually do that. I just started doing it because I get, like, a, um, <clears throat> a new brush in my monthly Ipsy bag. Speaking of, I'm so excited to see what comes in, the, in, in August. By the way, happy August. I don't know if I told you guys that yet, but I cannot believe it's already freaking August. And, like, I mean, is, isn't, like, August, like, the epitome and, like, the definition of, like, when it actually, like, genuinely and literally becomes fall? I think it is. Okay, I think it's starting to set. What do you guys think? <laughs> It's a match. It's definitely a match. Okay. Pretty. It's pretty. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a wear test, and I woke up at, like, 11-something p.m., so no shame in my game. I'm just telling it like it is, but sometimes my sleep schedule's not the best. But, by the way, that was L'Oreal Paris, um, 24-hour foundation, um, infallible Pro Glow, 201 Classic Ivory, and radiant finish for normal dry, dry skin that's hydrating. And it is very hydrating, I have to say. Um, I don't know why I just did that. That's gonna bug me. Because I always see the fingerprints afterwards, you know what I mean? Okay, I did it again. Oh, why am I doing that? Come on, steam and ice. You're supposed to help make everyone feel so nice. Okay. So, now, we'll do concealer. Cool. My e.l.f. neutralizing concealer palette. You already know, unless you're new to my channel and you're one of my new newest, um, my, one of my 31 new subscribers, which is so humbling and weird and flattering. And beyond, like, all that stuff to say, but it's, it's true, and just thank you for being here, and, um, yeah, if you're not, if you're new to my, if you're new to my channel, then, um, you're not well aware of the fact that I live, love, and stand for this Elf Neutralizing, um, concealer palette, because you can get it for four ninety five at Walmart and or Target, and I think so, even most drugstores, it's, it's about the same price, but I think it's, like, a couple dollars more. That's why, like, in retrospect, I should have, I should have asked Joe if he would just go to Walmart for me, but he, I think Walgreens, I think our Walmart closed at midnight, and it was already, like, well, after 1 a.m., but, um, Okay, let's leave her open, because I always just apply it with this brush, and then I use the same brush, um, that I, ooh, yeah, perfect. The same brush that I do my, con uh, my foundation with, I also do my concealer with. I tend to do about that much, honestly. And that is definitely, um, it's not full coverage. But I'm not mad at the at the non matte finish, and I thought that I would be upset. So let's just see here. I hope this I hope this really does all go to, go according to plan, and I hope that um. I really do hope the best for all this makeup. I want it to all go well. Just because none of it was cheap. I mean, I mean as far as I'm concerned, I don't consider any of that makeup to be cheap. Cheap, do you guys? It's all very quality. Um, name brand like heard of makeup. So. All right. That's the only way. Like, I'm sorry. Like, clock me if clock me with the house if you need to. That's cool. That's the only way you can properly like apply like your concealer and blend your, blend your concealer into your foundation. If you do, unless you do a circular motion and stuff, like before you have mascara and everything on, it's the only way. It's the only time you can do it appropriately. It just is. And I mean, like, not not just appropriately, but also like effectively. I guess is the word I was looking for. Mm. I'm having Minute Maid Mango Punch. That is so good. I also have Joe to thank for that. Oh. 
<laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay, he heard me that time. Alright. Yeah, so far the foundation's awesome. Huh? I'm using the foundation, I'm just, I'm, and I'm blending my concealer in right now and stuff, and it's amazing so far. So thank you once again. Okay. Um. I still can't believe how expensive it was. It, it, I, I still cannot believe how expensive it was and everything, but... Like I said, I mean, Ivan was like, you know, we can take some back, whatever. He was like, no, you love it. It's good for your channel, whatever. But it's because he's super, super sweet and has the other part of this necklace, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's spoiler alert. Whatever. I can't, I can't keep a secret. I just can't do it. Okay, I'm impressed. I like to look a little bit lighter in the eyes, uh, the under eyes next to where you, go, you do, like, your foundation and... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, foundation, concealer, and or uh, contour, but whatever. But I do all that good stuff. Um, all right. Since this is all about the new products, I mean, I feel like we should definitely. Um, okay, we did um, all the skin. Product, I mean, all the um, complexion products. So that I off, you know, I did um, primer off camera. But um, so I guess we'll go ahead and dive into blush. And for blush, we're going to use from my Paris Hilton. Um, I need to move some stuff around because this is just not cutting it, you guys. It just ain't cutting it. That'll work right now. Cool. Okay. Keep her right here. There we go. Trash. Okay. Perfect. Um, for my Paris Hilton um, blush, bronzing, and illuminating palette that I got at $7.99. Seven, I got for $7.99 at my Ross. Follow me around. Just in case you were wondering. Can you, which way is it? Yeah, there we go. Um, there's a lot of fallout with this product, did you have to say? But whenever it comes to uh, the blush, I'm going to dive into um, this. There's not a shade name for it or whatever, but it's just this beautiful. As you can see, I love their illuminating setting powder as well as their contour products in the top. On the top, their contour and bronzing products in the top shades. But um, I would just describe this is just like a pink, um, a rosy pink skin blush, like hot pink, baby pink. You know what I mean? Skin blush. I'm using my cheek blush brush that came in my June Epsi bag. So excited to see! I can't. I'm so. I cannot wait to see what. August has in store for us, you know what I mean? I have a feeling it's gonna be like a lot more, a lot deeper colors and stuff. Maybe one or two neon thrown in there, you know what I mean? Because they always, they always throw in like a good liquid lipstick. But I cannot wait to try this new liquid lipstick. Oh my god, he knows me so well. What are you gonna do? What's a girl to do? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, because believe it or not, a little goes a long way. And like, I've heard a lot of crap talked about Paris Hilton and her makeup, and I will just not have it because I don't buy into that kind of stuff. Okay, let's see here, where's my Jeffree Star mirror? <laughs> and the star mirrors, because uh, I was going to get a star mirror and stuff, um, and, set, and and also the mini breaker palette, but the, the, the Jawbreaker edition um, star mirrors were sold out, and I was like, bummer, next time, you know what I mean? Okay. Oh, some mascara from last night escaped onto my face. I'm glad I looked up close with the mirror. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we need to um, set her down right there, and we need to uh, buff out some of this um, concealer a little bit better. I didn't see that, okay. And I didn't even blend any of this on my chin. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't, put, I didn't do it on my chin, but I barely blended it out. If, if, if I even blended that at all on my nose, I think I've totally forgot. I hope it's not too late and like it totally cracked and stuff, but I don't think that it did. It doesn't look like it did. Put some of that down off the eyelid, because I don't think I did that nearly enough on both sides. Okay. Like, I always get weird little redness and, and marks and stuff right here. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I always get little red bumps and stuff right here. Um, and stuff, that's why I like, always do concealer right there. I forgot that, I, and I totally forgot to blend that. And I don't think it's cracked or anything. It actually, the, ooh, it actually looks, it actually looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah, so obviously we haven't gotten to bronzer and all that fun stuff yet, but, okay, good. I was like, oh my god, I, I, I told, like, I I always remember to, to blend my freaking bronzer. That's so odd that I didn't. Okay, <laughs> what are you going to do? Okay, I would, like, the, the method to my madness when applying blush, you're about to witness it, but I guess the best way that I could possibly explain it is that you just, like, I just, like, uh, stamp it, but one, twice on each side, up to the pit the center of my apple of my cheek and then I just like kind of just move around to the but where I can find the best lighting and then kind of angle the brush like this and then do it into my hairline 
suck in my cheeks while supplying it. This is an illuminating blush as well, as you can tell, I'm sure. It's gorgeous. So say what you want about Paris Hilton, but the girl is an entrepreneur and she's killing it in Ibiza right now. And what are you doing? What are we doing? I'm doing makeup and getting ready to, getting ready, getting all dressed up. Took a nowhere in particular, you know what I'm saying? So who am I to judge? The girl is a boss, and I like a boss. Okay, um, did that piece of hair just fall out on camera? Oh, nope, I just pulled it out. <laughs> awesome. Alright. I will not be dyeing my hair tonight. I'll be dyeing my hair tomorrow night. That's why I said I didn't know for sure if you, if you guys saw my ASMR video, um, the most previous video on my channel, the most recent video on my channel to this one, you'll know what I'm referring to. But, um, okay, gorgeous. I just do like this because if you guys are, aren't, aren't, are not, uh, if you guys are new to my channel or you're not well aware of the fact that, um, I just like, I, I'm a crazy fanatic about buffing my bronzer, um, and blush line seamlessly together, but also into my hairline. Uh, into my hairline and stuff, so yeah, we'll, you guys will see that though, momentarily. But I think that's a really, really gorgeous pink shade. Um, I don't think, I mean, I've, I fi tell, tell, find me a skin tone that like you can go wrong with, like whenever you're doing um, your blush, and I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, bitch, you're wrong, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's for real. But, um, okay, so, uh, Oh yeah, why, why did I put that palette down? I really don't even need the mirror for this part too, which is one of my favorite, which is one of my favorite steps. I'm going to use my um, my um, Luxie 1010 um, small contour and bronzing brush. This came in my July Ipsy bag. Speaking of Ipsy, but no, I'm going to use her um, to apply. I'm going to mix these two shades right here. This like yellowish like duochrome kind of duochrome shade right here is a little bit illuminating right here right here right here and then this one in the middle um together and I'm going to mix those with this brush it has a perfect little um like concave area to put your thumb in it's perfect for blending these two like this palette just always pieces fall out and stuff that's why I have it that one's missing because it fell out a bunch and I mean I have used a lot of it too but okay so I just want you guys to be able to see it somewhat at least you know I'm like all up against the wall heat me up against the wall. Don't take anything, just say I'm at all. Are you having a party in there? Mother of God. I'm trying to make it to a YouTube career here, Joe. <sighs> all right. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. <sighs> it's like, okay, this is one of those products that, like, you have to use a little bit more than, um, you normally would, if that makes sense. Like, um... Like, if, if it was, like, a more expensive product. And I don't, it's like, I, if you have to pl apply, like, just a little bit more and it doesn't look like you're wearing a, sh a shit ton of makeup, and sorry for swearing, I normally don't swear on my channel. Also, another thing that I never do, but I accidentally did, so sorry about that. Won't happen again in this video. And, I mean, I promise in this video, but I'm not going to say it on my channel because I always slip up here and there. But, no, um, yeah, like, it's just, that's, that's the method to my madness whenever it comes to makeup. It's, like, it's the quality, it's not it's not the quantity, you know what I mean? It's not it's not the price, it's the quality of it. And it's, like, if you have to pay, like, $20 less for a palette and you have to apply, you have to apply like, a one layer more, I'm not going to complain about it. You guys will see what I mean about the, um, the quality of this bronzer. It's so good. I mean, instant gratification. <sighs> you know what I mean? It's, like, you can't argue with that. Let's buff that into that, um... Blush line, of course. I always do like little M's or backwards W's, all across, up into that, up into that. Okay, that piece of hair is going to murder me, not so figuratively. Okay, I go down a little bit, blend it, blend it into that bronzing line, make it a little bit more seamless, make it seem a little bit more seamless than it actually is. That's what I like to do at least. Okay. And just kind of make it one entity. And honestly, I really didn't use that much that much product. I really didn't, in retrospect, like not a lot at all. So definitely done with the forehead for sure. <laughs> you can see where it's turning my hair a little bit like brown and stuff, but it's a great bronzer. I really like it. Um, it's a little bit too um, symmetrical for me. I'm gonna I'm obviously going to adjust that with like a little bit more product. So let's do that now. Okay. One, two, three. 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 Okay. Okay, I hope this 
this is not the most boring video ever. I really don't. Uh, I mean, I really hope it's not. Um, I just love to try new products and stuff for you guys, and this is the first time of me doing this bronzer on camera for you guys, so. This is a trick that um, JLo's makeup artist, um, Scott Barnes, taught me, so. Yep, just get a little bit of the nicest product or whatever, and then. See, look, you have a little bit of a tan, you know what I mean? On the tip of your nose, and then. Got a little bit of a contour shade out, as you guys can probably see. What I do is I just, um, I suck in like this, and then I trace from where my cheekbones are, which is like crazy up here, like where my ear, like the halfway, bit, like where the middle of my ear is, and then it goes all the way down to here, but you'll see. I put a deeper shade this time from the same, from that Paris Hilton palette, but. It blends right into that blush. It blends, it blends right into my foundation, the concealer. Um, and if you want to see the most like effortless um, <laughs> application of a contour ever, and the instant result. Sorry about that. And like the instant results, you're you're watching it. You're witnessing it. <laughs> I mean, it instantly brought color to that face. Okay. In love. Okay. Cool. So I feel like those cheeks or whatever are just like distracting everything else. So I'm going to do a little bit of uh, blush on my nose. Maybe like add a little bit of blush up here to this area. Just make it a little bit softer to soften that out. I just feel like it's, it was a little bit more stark than I had, than I had originally planned. Um, but that's okay. We'll lighten her up a little bit, blend her down to the blush a little bit more, blend some of that blush up into the bronzer even. Yeah, sometimes that helps a little bit. <clears throat> okay. Oh my god, I'm so glad I'm doing like very few edits and stuff. It, it's just, it, it feels like old, it's like, I'm, this is like, I don't know, I have no idea what I'm good, I'm going to, what I'm going to title this yet, but I'm just really excited, I'm just really excited to be here. By the way, shout out to you, Melissa Hilliard, or Hilliard, or... Hilliard. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it, but shout out to you, girl. I'm going to link all your everything. So I'm going to link your um, Instagram as well as your YouTube channel because if you if you don't if you want to follow somebody that doesn't edit, that is unfiltered, that is the real deal, that tells it like it is, and like is an old soul, like the old moi, and is, and is only who is only one year older than me. Not that age matters, but she's 29. She currently lives in Illinois, and she's the realest. First things first, she's the realest. Drop low, let the whole world get, let the whole thing, like the whole Iggy Azalea thing, that that whole moment. Yes. But okay. Make my nose look a little bit sun-kissed, you know what I mean? And then the net, what do you know? It's like, huh, that bronzer isn't necessarily as stark and cray-cray as it was a few moments ago. <laughs> okay. We're not done. If I, if, I see some, if I see some things along the way that I need to fix, I'll do it. Mm. Alrighty then. Um, what have we done and what haven't we done? Okay, we have not done mascara. And that's all, probably my next step. That's what, Okay, yeah. We're, next we're going to be trying for the first time ever... Um, these are all new products, and I guess we're from a Walgreens haul, whatever we're gonna call it. I don't know, just, I don't know just yet. But um, my L'Oreal Paris Double Extend Beauty Tube Mascara. <gasps> just look at all the bristles. I mean, the bristles of it all. <clears throat> okay, so here's the true. Here's the true tea. Um, without even planning on doing so, um, I did a wear test of. This L'Oreal Paris 24-hour um, foundation, uh, infallible Pro Glow in the shade 201 Classic Ivory. Yes, um, because it has actually been four hours, count them four hours, um, since you guys have seen me last. Um, the only thing that I've done is um, probably the, the, the my least, the least I've ever been impressed with any eye job I've ever done. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a makeup artist. I am by no means a makeup artist. I have never claimed to be a makeup artist. I'm just a good old country southern boy from Texas that likes to play with makeup and have fun with makeup sometimes. And I mean, if y'all got a problem with that, then you came to the wrong channel. But I, I do appreciate y'all's support, though, anyways. I really do. Okay, so, um, 
No, um, yeah, just very quickly, um, yeah, that's all I did off camera, um, so we're going to do, I'm just gonna, I'll go quickly through my, um, mini breaker palette, the two, sh the three shades that I used, and I just, I did two mattes for the first time ever, and they're very, very uneven, very, very imperfect, and if it's like, if I do like this from a distance, it's like, yeah, they're cute, you know what I mean? I like the Raccoon Fantasy, and I like how it's, you know, got that little bit of an ombre effect, and it's, I mean, I'm, I'm, I was like, am I being too hard on myself? No, because I mean, I, I could, I totally could have fixed those lines better. Um, and it, and honestly, like, just the eye look alone took took me at least an hour and a half of the four hours of like the wear test and everything. So yeah, this is me not touching anything up at all. Like, um, obviously, I wanted to use a setting spray so bad, but I have to say, for like a gel um, foundation, however you want to put it, that I mean, well, I guess all foundations are gel, but like one that's not a matte. My first, um, what what do they call it? Um, radiant finish uh, matte that I've ever worn in my entire life. Um, yeah, I know it's not bad, but no, okay, so yeah. In doing so, um, I um, was like, okay, I, I checked the timestamps in the videos or whatever, so I was like, oh crap, because um, my goal is to always have them be in 480p. So, um, like, uh, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes and everything off camera, so we're, just, we're gonna do the the mascara and then the lips or whatever to finish it off and and I already knew we already knew what the lip color was which is this beautiful beautiful um oil spill um, right here by NYX Cosmetics and the shade oil spill so I was like I might as well just incorporate some like pinks and purples you know what I mean so yeah I just dove in, I dove into um purple punch right in the very center there yes and then I dove into uh, foreplay in the top left. It's a lot less pink and a lot more purple than this uh, one in the bottom, uh, bubble gum. And then I used, just for a pop of color in the corner, corner I used a dab. And when I say a dab, I mean a dab in the, in, in the inner creases of oral. Right there. Okay. That was easier than I thought. Cool. So we can throw, I don't need her. Um, so honestly, um, I don't, it's, yeah, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very, very, very imperfect look. I'm really excited to try out this mascara. Um. So let's just do it. I'm going to do it like it says to you, and um, I'm just hoping, yeah, so like the real tea is that, um, <laughs> that like, uh, you know, I just, I just hope that um, if I have to make this into a two-parter, I will, I just don't want to, but like I'm not trying to speed through this or anything, I'm just going to try to make this part at least like no longer than like a good like 15 to 20 minutes tops, because that way I can at least edit, edit, edit it together with the 44 minute one, but then it's like, oh my god, I'm, gonna, I'm going to be like, you guys are going to have like a, a video of mine that's like an, over an hour long and stuff, and it's like, if, by the way, if, you, if you've made it this far in the future, because this is this is currently past Steven Ice, who thinks you're also very nice by the way, <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, no, um, just thank you for if you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Um, I did a lot more setting powder than I normally do and stuff, and in some places this is by far no means my best look ever, not, and I'm not claiming it to be. But okay, my first impressions of this L'Oreal, um, Paris Double X, Double Extend Beauty Tubes Mascara, and I'm using step one right now, which is to prep and prime those lids. So I can just do that. Oh, I have my little hand mirror. No, who am I kidding? This mirror's bigger anyway than my hand mirror, I think. Okay. Let's prime those lids, but this is the first. Look at those bristles, too. L'Oreal knows what they're doing. Okay, oh my god, I already feel a lengthening effect just with the primer. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't know I was out of frame, you guys. I'll just blink a little bit onto the bottom lashes, as you can see. It's actually colored and everything and translucent. That's cool. So let's see. Um, let that dry a little bit. I'll use my one of my pants and pop it a little bit for y'all. Um, okay, let's dry those eyes a little bit. Look at, oh my god, the lengthening, the lengthening effect already. Yeah, I'm here for it. Okay. Super stoked to try out the actual mascara part, which is, like, I'm, I'm guessing the red end. That'll be good for ASMR later. <laughs> Just kidding. This will be my last video in the next, like, at least 14 to 16 hours. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> okay. I just instinctively used to do it in the monitor, but now, like, my ring light is too bright, so it's like, no, can't do that, girl. Like, look at those bristles. For reals, though. And it's like, yeah, let's just see. First impressions. First impressions are, are you kidding me? Look at the side that I haven't done yet. 
I'm not even, oh my god, this, this is one dip, by the way. Into the tubing itself. Basic bitch problems. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay. I just can't talk when I'm doing my mascara, to be honest with you. That was, yes, that was Joe coughing in the back, in the background, if you were wondering. Okay, my first impressions are... That they were not lying, whatever they said. Like, 80% um, increase, like, 80% plus increase in lash um, volume and length. They weren't lying. Look at that. That's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Excellent choice, Joe. I love it. I love it to Reese's Pieces. Okay. Now, um, we're going to finally move on to the, 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 the final step. The Lionel. I think I must be thinking of Lionel Richie. Um, it's this, um... NYX Cosmetic, um, Glitter Goals, Liquid Lipstick, and the shade Oil Spill. Yes. Gorgeous packaging. Love it. Let's do a fragrance test, obviously. Then we'll do some setting spray, because it's also NYX Cosmetics, my first two NYX Cosmetics products ever, first time ever reviewing them. Ooh, it smells like, it smells like, um, your typical, like, dessert liquid lipstick, but not, like, super, what's the word, um, overpowering. But there's also something else to it that's, gonna look a little bit more masculine, possibly. Okay, let's see. First impressions are, I like how the, um, there's, like, a, the, the doe foot applicator. First impressions, or that was an effortless application to that bottom lip. Effortless, like, I mean, I'm not even gonna put it, yeah. And I absolutely do um, overdraw my lips a little bit sometimes. But, what are you gonna do? If you've made it this long, you're a trooper, and yes, we're going to clean her up momentarily. Look at that color. That's such, a, that's such an original shade, and I see what they call it, oil spill now, that's cool. impressions of this lipstick is the application is effortless if you want to overjaw your lips and you're one of those kinds of gals or boys whatever um then that is definitely a lipstick for you and why they call it oil spill i get it now Okay, I think I'm being too hard on myself. Mm -hmm. First impressions are that it's super creamy, super buildable, if you like to slightly overdraw those lips. Like I do, and this is absolutely, um, I'll let my hair down for this part, uh, uh, style it according to my mood. And my mood is pretty crazy, since I feel like this is a p definitely a punk rock fantasy happening right before your very eyes. Um, 
But seriously though, okay. There's that look, I'm feeling that fantasy, I love it. Um, it's very imperfect, but you know what I mean, it really is. But I am going to, while we're here, I might as well grab her, because, you know, <laughs> I love a good highlight. Um, and I figured I might as well, since, you know, it's a blue highlight and it's my chills, Kilowatts Edition chills, um, might as well go out, might as well end this video with a bang. A not-so-metaphorical bang. Hmm. It's a quick drying mat, but a not too quickly drying mat, if that makes sense. Like, you have, like, time to, like, um, to work it, to work it in and stuff, and, like, overdraw them properly, and... Like I said, I'm, I am by no means a makeup artist. Not, never have I claimed to be a makeup artist, but I just play with makeup and have fun with it. But, um, okie dokie here. We're just gonna do, um, a, a highlight also according to my mood. Obviously start with that Cupid's bow. I overdrew a little bit, so we'll start up here. Flawless. I love it. That's perfect. <laughs> Everything. Hello, oil spill. How are you? <laughs> okay. Let's trace that nose. Ever so slightly. Oh my god, so pretty. Okay. And then just pack right on the peak of that cheekbone on both sides. I'm not gonna go crazy with that highlight this time, you guys. Because I normally do. I don't know, I was just talking in such a quiet voice just then. So sorry about that. <laughs> But no, like, um, I'm just going to do a minimal amount um, on the peak of my cheekbone, where actually where it's the exact line where it meets um, my blush, where it, meets my, where, it, where it meets my blush line, but also where it meets um, my eyeshadow line on both sides. So I'm just going to pack it on a little bit right here, and then I will buff it out with my uh, cheek blush brush that came in my um, June Ipsy bag. Let's make sure that nose isn't crazy or anything. Okay, there's a little bit, right, a little bit of pigment right there that needs to be buffed out. But we can definitely do that. Dust that nose and stuff. So there's like, you know, when you turn to the side, there's not like some crazy like glow that's just like out of nowhere. Okay. Mm. Basic bitch highlighter um, tutorial much? <laughs> I know. You don't have to tell me. Feel free to tell me. I already know, girl. Okay. Let's buff that very minimal, minimal highlight into that blush, contour. Concealer, eyeshadow, foundation line, all those good things, bronzer. Okay. Yes. Like it's there, you know what I mean? And it just it, it highlights those cheeks perfectly, you know? But like, is it really there, you know? Because it's it's blended like to perfection. Okay. We're at 14 minutes, which is perfect. Honestly, you guys, in conclusion, I just want to say to have 158 subscribers means the world to me. I never thought in a million years ago um, that because in October, um, it'll be a year, like at the very end of October, I think it was October 27th, that I made my very first serious YouTube video. And I just can't believe that um, it's, it's come this far in such a short period of time, and I'm just so grateful. And I'm, I'm, that you guys just allow me to be my silly self on camera, and um, just let me, um, you know, you guys give me the, abil th give me the ability to... Um, and the privilege and the honor to just let my guard down, and um, and I, I'll never be able to repay you guys for that. But um, honestly, like Stephen Nice, I don't know why why I always refer to myself in the third person and outros and stuff like that. Not only does he think you're all so very nice and beautiful. Yeah, let's let's make sure we get all of that. That's the starkest bronzer line I've ever seen in my entire life, and I use way too much um of that of that translucent setting powder. Off camera. Oh, that's one thing I forgot to mention also, but, um, not my best look, but what are you going to do? I'm still going to try my new NYX, um, dewy finish, um, setting spray. So let's see first impressions on this, too. Oh, it's got quite a mist. Let's see how this works. You have to spray a lot, you know what I mean? It's in a smaller container. I figured, I figured that, I figured as much. If that makes sense. Um, okay. 
Yes, let's, okay, wait, let's let the hair push back for a second, but then also let's get my fan out, because let's, I like to dry my setting spray just a little bit, especially if it's a dewy setting spray, and it even says so, like, in the disclaimer. Um, yeah, um, this is, um, having better lighting and stuff like this, and better audio and everything, and being able to, like, actually edit better, and, and look at, take a long, hard look at my looks and everything, it's like, the eyes honestly aren't, are not perfect, but they're unique, and they're cool, you know, I like them, they're just not perfect. The lips... I'm getting there, you know what I mean? Uh, but also, just like that bronzer, that bronzer I have to work on, that contour and that blush is on point, you know what I mean? That highlight is killer. Um, mascara, everything's, everything like that's great, you know what I mean? Like, um, my, normally my eyeshadow, my eyeshadow, my eyeshadow, um, uh, skills are pretty on point as well. They really are, and I'm, just, I'm not even trying to chew my own, own horn, I'm just, I'm just being honest. Um, I guess that bronzer is not necessarily, I mean, I need a little, I need a little, more, a little bit more practice when it comes to bronzer, is what I'm trying to say. But that's that punk rock almost parted on the middle fantasy that I'm feeling at the moment. What do you guys think? Thank you. That's so nice. But, um, thank you so much if you made it, you made it this far. I believe we'll, we'll definitely at least surpass an hour in this one, as long as I can keep it in 480p. If not, it's going to be in two parts, and also I hope that's not too much of an, too much of an inconvenience for any of you. Um, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, you guys.